Robin Hood Radio. Right now, it is time to bring in none other than Ruth Epstein. It's time for the Republican American Report. Ruth joins us every Monday morning, just about 99.99999% of the time. Good morning, Ruth. Hi, Marshall. Not going anywhere lately. I'm here. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Not going anywhere. Well, Falls Village was once again the vacation destination uh, oh, this gosh. weekend. Oh, gosh, yeah. Some of the pictures that were put up uh, – of cars parked around the bridge, uh, everywhere, and uh, once again, people in the water below the falls. And what's interesting is below the dam, I should say, and above the falls. What's interesting is especially now, Ruth, uh, in the summertime, if there were, I, I've said this to people, and I've said this to people there, if there were a thunderstorm, let's say that crossed over, a slow-moving thunderstorm, that crossed over like Sheffield, Great Barrington, and dump like, let's say, an inch of rain, which can happen, those people that are sitting in between the dam and the waterfalls aren't going to be in big trouble because that water comes downstream very quickly. I was there on Saturday, and there were two police cars parked on the Falls Village side at one point. Um, the parking lot at the uh, power plant was completely empty this week. Did not yep. see anybody. But drove up to Great Falls, and there were cars lined up again, once again on the road, uh, and people going in, um, obviously. So uh, I guess the police come and, uh, you know, get them out, and then they come back again. So uh, it's, a, it's, it's a problem that uh, yeah. is going to have to be uh, – you'll we'll have to live with it probably the rest of the summer, but some sort of enforcement – will have to come about. Uh, and it's going to have to be constant monitoring. That's the only way. Yeah, the only uh, way. People are not going to obey the signs. I feel sorry for the people, but but now there's no reason for it because, because Connecticut has opened up other parks and swimming areas. Mm. Uh, and, and so... Um, I mean, I do feel sorry for people that have no place to go. Yeah. But yeah. you just yeah. can't come up here yeah. and think you can sit in a, in a, in a dangerous position. So, so and... Lots of kids, and it's just—it's yeah, it's a real conundrum. It really is. I mean, I I do feel for people who need to get out of the city in this hot, hot weather, but this is not the place to do it. So, uh, so we had kind of a busy week again. Um, there's a lot of news going on in Falls Village. Unfortunately, uh, there were the selectmen reported there were some racist graffiti remarks written on the road. Uh, at the corner of Belden and Sand Road, uh, one of the selectmen came upon it, and in no time they uh, called some folks, some town officials, and it was cleaned up. But the selectmen were, were really upset by the whole thing and have come out with a statement against uh, zero tolerance for such a thing, and they will be um, keeping an eye out to make sure these things, you know, if it does happen, to uh, get them cleaned up immediately. Um uh, the, the selectmen were really upset that this has happened in their town. So, well, um, and, the, and the sad thing is, Ruth, it's a, it's a response to Black Lives Matter. There's going to be another Black yeah. Lives Matter uh, thing at the White Heart this coming weekend. But it's just the the, the tone the, of the country. The is tone really, of the country. That's exactly really. Right. Uh, it's very sad. Um, and staying in Falls Village, interestingly enough, the. Um, Cornwall Conservation Trust wants to purchase some land on Music Mountain uh, for conservation purposes, and the selectmen were asked to support it, and uh, they have said no. Uh, they are going to uh, respond and say, uh, we again, as they did in Cornwall when there was a, a piece up for sale, um, they want don't want any more coming off the ta any more land coming off the tax rolls. I think Henry Todd, for a selectman, said there is like 60 percent of the land is off the tax rolls in Falls Village, and they can near, near, near afford that. Um, no business, hardly any commercial business in town. The tax base goes keeps going up. They get caught with a lot of um, a lot of expense for high school uh, for many years, and so um, they just want to see some. Some development. And speaking of development, there's also a affordable housing complex uh, being proposed once again that's come back up on uh, Lime Rock Station. And we're going to see, as we always do with affordable housing proposals, uh, pushback from certain people uh, and uh, the 
pros, obviously, for it. So um, the anti say they're not against affordable housing. They just don't think it's the right spot for it. This is the spot where uh, there were um, many more houses proposed uh, that went before the Planning and Zoning Commission than uh, that was taken away. Uh, the, they withdrew the application. They've come back with a much smaller proposal, but uh, there's still uh, opposition to it. So we're going to be watching that with interest. Um, hey, the Teddy Lee Drum Scholarship announcements uh, came through, and the reason I want to plug that is I went to high school. I went to his grammar school with Ted, uh, and I known his father. His yeah. father gave my my brother Mark his first full time job as a painter. Yep, yep. And uh, he and his wife established a, a scholarship in Wonderful his name for for yep. Sharon Resi for Sharon Residence High School undergraduates. You name it, every year. Uh, they give out those. So I just wanted to. Uh, That's credit great. The, the, I used yeah. to go to those meetings with uh, Mr. Drum and the the group that he formed to to oversee it. A really wonderful group of people, and good for them. Wonderful. Okay, um, looking ahead, what have we got? I have Region 1 on my calendar for tonight. I don't know we why. Have, Sharon even... Board of Education has a special meeting at 5 o'clock. Oh, they do. Uh, it does, uh, okay. Salisbury Board of Education has a special meeting at 5.30. The Region 1 Board of Education has a special meeting at 6.30. <laughs> okay, so I'm not wrong. I had no, it, <laughs> they're all I had it the here, but I wasn't sure. So we have 5 and 5.30 and 6. We've got <laughs> zoom, zoom, zoom. Yeah. Um, Cornwall Board of Selectmen is tomorrow night, yep. and uh, let's remind people of the concerts in Sharon on Wednesday nights down at the Pavilion. There's two more left, one this and, week and one, uh, I think, uh, two weeks after that. And I think this Wednesday is Wanda Houston. I think. Uh, uh, yes, uh, I think so. I've got it here in front of me. i just got to find it. Uh, but, <laughs> yeah, but, your uh, desk is like mine. But it's, but it's, uh, it, and it's down at the, it's at, down at, at the Grove. At the, oh, okay, um, it's Wanda Houston this week, and then August 5th, it's the regulators. Uh, you have to wear a mask if you're going to be close to people you don't know, and you just have to social distance. Other than that, uh, those are the only rules they have. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Um, six to eight. Am yeah. I, yeah. And then on Thursday, this, the Falls Village P&Z, I assume, are going to be talking about this uh, conservation uh, piece. And on Friday, we have Salisbury Association with uh, Mr. Rowan, who's going to speak on athlete, athletes. Uh, he's a New York Times sports writer. Um, and again, on Zoom. So um, a full full week ahead, even though, as we always say, you know, by the fourth week, it's kind of um, tapering off. Not this week. No, and also all these meetings going on with Region One involving reopening of schools and COVID and everything. If you if people uh, miss them, uh, I'm uh, putting them up on the uh, on the Region One Report website. So yeah, that's uh, you great. You can take a look at all these meetings because literally there are community members, teachers, administrators, uh, people from all over the community meeting almost on a daily basis to try to see. Uh, if schools can be open safely. You know, Ruth, we haven't talked about this, but can you imagine this? You will need a monitor on each bus. You, the, check, cost, yeah. the costs to the region are going to be astronomical. Unbelievable. Yeah. Cleaning the buildings. and Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah that's this uh, group of 40-some people, and they're a nine-task force. Uh, Lisa Carter is is cul culminating it all in a report that goes out to – has to go out to the state. I guess every region has to propose uh, – what it's going to be doing uh, if and when school opens. Uh, uh, lots of people have lots of doubts about whether it can happen. I just well, don't know. We'll see. I think I think what they're going to try to do, and I think it would be smart, is a hybrid of sorts to have yeah. some mm -hmm. some students go to school uh, and some not, uh, and uh, have distance learning mixed in with uh, with some education. But uh, it's it's hard to predict what's going to happen. It really it's is. Just, um, I, it's hard to imagine how yeah. it's going to work out. I just. And, um, and I, I just have, I said to Lisa, I said, congratulations on becoming superintendent. But unfortunately, this is one of the toughest positions I've ever seen. Yeah. Somebody who's going to come in as a superintendent and anybody else on the administrative teams, I'll say. And, and you know, folks, I am no back kissers for, for administrators. But this is an unbelievably unique job that they have to do this year. And they're all new at this and i think they're all really trying extremely hard to keep this open and above board and transparent so. i 
Agree with you wholeheartedly. All those meetings, as you said, are open, and you've recorded them, and people can listen. Uh, but it's it's a Herculean Herculean task. It, it really um, is. It really yeah. is. Along with the other things they have to do for this goal. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, I just can't imagine. So. All right. Anyway, we're here and on it, and we'll see what happens. All right, Ruth, we'll speak with you again next week. All right, Marshall, stay safe. Have a good week. And zoom around. (laughs) Yeah, take care. (laughs) Take care. Uh, Ruth Epstein, the Republican-American Report here on Robin Hood Radio.